So congratulations, buddy. Uh, as for the rest of the crew, we have um, to Chris's left is uh, Chris's brother, the best man, teacher by day, hockey coach by night, Steve Ryan. <laughs> and then we have the groomsmen, Johnny, a.k.a. Let's Get Destroyed Brown. <laughs> and then we have the lovely ladies, the bridesmaid. We have Christine. That's Amanda's sister, and then we have the, uh, or the maid of honor, Christine, and then we have the bridesmaid, Tanya. Chris, Chris on. I'd just like to take a moment before we enjoy this Girl. lovely meal and introduce the rest of the family. So over here, we have Amanda's mom, Liz. I'd also like to acknowledge uh, late Doug McLeod, who's obviously here with us in great spirit this evening. And I'd like to introduce Johnny McLeod, Amanda's brother. And representing the Ryan family tonight, we have Mr. and Mrs. Larry and Karen Ryan over here. That's his mom and dad. <laughs> and we've got Chris's sister, Sylvia, and his brother-in-law, Jason, over here. So glad we could all be here tonight. Let's get started with a couple speeches here before supper. So I'm going to pass things off to Liz to give us a toast. Good evening, everyone. I am honored to speak on behalf of Amanda's family. Amanda, you are so beautiful today. Take my breath away. Chris, you look so handsome. You are Amanda and Lucy's pretty charming today. I would like to officially welcome you to our family. Although you've been part of our family for the last few years. But I was just wondering, now that we're family, would you like to be friends on Facebook? <laughs> be friends yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, Karen and Larry, you are two of the most kind and wonderful people that I've ever, ever met. And I'm so happy now that Amanda's part of your very loving family. You truly are amazing. And I'd like to thank everyone for coming so far today. This group of friends that Amanda has, you're not just friends, you're her family. You all are family. And it makes me feel good that I know that when she's so far away from us that you guys are just the best group of friends that anybody could ever, ever ask for. Really, truly, you're a blessing to her and to me. John, I would like to thank you for um, taking the place of your father today. You have been so very proud. And I know he's watching over all of us today with the biggest smile on his face. I'm proud of this girl. So I just want to raise my glass and I want to thank my husband Doug I know you're not here with us today but I thank you for my beautiful family thank you and I love you Cheers. 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 I'd like to thank Anna Lucy and Austin for the fantastic job you guys did today so I guess we'll do a cheers now to Amanda and Chris <laughs> to cheers cheers to Oh. Love, laughter, and happily ever after. I love you both very much. Congratulations. Hey, hey. This is already twice as long as uh, the one I did in Sylvia's wedding. <laughs> Before I uh, get too far, uh, I'd like to welcome uh, Jason Jappa into the family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nine years of probation. <laughs> Good to go now. Uh, yeah, Larry and Karen, Christopher's parents. Uh, yeah, that was pretty well. <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to thank uh, Amanda and Christopher for having us here. Uh, great to be part of it. Uh, uh, 
1980 seems like uh, just yesterday. Uh, me and Karen were frantically looking for instructions to uh, parent Christopher. Still <laughs> uh, Yeah. Clearly the generic how to do uh, books didn't uh, work out. There was no Google. Around 1985, we gave up on the, getting a recall. <laughs> In the end, uh, we uh, blamed the breastfeeding. <laughs> that was the problem. The breast milk was the problem. No problems with the first two. <laughs> yeah. To this day, any mischief that our grandkids get into, like uh, Katie running away, or Phoenix getting a misconduct penalty, or John Gappa, the timeout, uh, even Shawnee gets referenced back to Christopher. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, as a teenager, we. Uh, we're sure to show up to Christopher's hockey games early so we could see him at warm-up, say. <laughs> the odd time he didn't uh, make it past warm-up. So. He, he got to late, leave early. Uh, bad refereeing, that's all it was. Uh, uh, and I know Amanda, she has to make sure she gets the girls in the seats early, early as well. But, uh, <laughs> the the traits that uh, yeah. Christopher comes by are, uh, don't start <laughs> with him. He is uh, always continually compared lovingly with uh, Karen's mother, Joan, and my father, John. Uh, actually, uh, he even gets uh, reference to uh, George Allen a few times. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so... Uh, they're all, they were all good, good people. Passionate. Yeah. Passionate people. Passionate. So, uh, a story that is told and different variations of it, but he actually broke up with his 17 year old sister's boyfriend. <laughs> he actually broke up, it was before puberty. So he sounded a lot like Sylvia. So, he actually broke up <laughs> and uh, he wasn't worthy, Jason. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Jason and Sylvia, you owe Christopher quite a bit. Uh, yeah. You guys getting together? So, uh, yeah. Christopher has a saint, great sense of humor, and is loyal to a fault. He's loose. Bummer. <laughs> he is Lucy and Anna's hero. We are proud of how much he has grown, especially since uh, meeting Amanda. He continues to still cry and get the last word. <laughs> he only has to learn that the last word has to be yes, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda, when you first came to visit, I don't remember a whole bunch of the visit, but uh, I remember after the visit, me and Karen actually did a high five. <laughs> yeah. As my brother, Christopher's Uncle Martin, says, she is only perfect. We thank God every day for Christopher's good fortune that he found you and you him. As Karen always says, it was meant to be. And if you need any more proof of 
how much it was meant to be. You look at those two only perfect big eyed little girls. Lucy and Amanda. Lucy and Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to express our joy and heartfelt warmth in welcoming Amanda's family. Liz, Johnny, Chrissy, Austin, Vince, into our family. I'd like to share a little known fact. Uh, about 5,000 years ago, I was lucky to have Doug as a teammate playing ball. Great teammate, good fella. Cougar, right? It is now clear after getting to know Liz and the Cobb family over the last eight years just why Amanda is such a great girl. My compliments and thanks to Doug, Liz, and the rest of the McLeod Kyle families for raising such a wonderful person as Amanda. My father John was a good singer. I'm not going to try to sing, but I'll toast and uh, a song he always sang. So here's to you. May your dreams come true. May your father time never be unkind. And through the years, save your smiles and tears. They're souvenirs. You'll make music in your heart. Remember this, each new day is a kiss, sent from up above with an angel's love. So here's to you. May your skies be blue and your love last. That's our best to you. both and Larry just for the record we all gave each other a high five too when we met Amanda <laughs> so you, know, um, you guys obviously have an awesome family here there's a lot of love tonight very very lucky people before we start supper I'd like to ask Miss Beautiful Tanya to come up and say grace please and thank you bless their family and their friends and we are very grateful to be here today to celebrate this day with you. And everyone enjoy the beautiful meal because it looks spectacular over there. So everyone raise your glasses to Amanda and Chris. Yeah. All the happiness in the world. We love you. Jelly beans and pink ice cream. Christmas teddy bear. One day I'll serve. Come on, man. 